More than 10 million people worldwide are affected by a condition known as Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement. The main symptoms for Parkinson's begin with tremors which eventually lead to slower and shaky movements affecting functions such as walking and talking. New research has shown that we may be on the verge of a new and more effective treatment that have fewer and less detrimental side effects than existing options. Specifically, researchers of the Netherlands Translational Research Center have been investigating an inhibitor of the human enzyme tryptophan dioxygenase, also known as TDO, that addresses the root cause of Parkinson's disease, but more on this later. This drug is not yet available for use and researchers are continuing to assess its efficacy. Therefore, this video is meant to provide general information and it does not act as a substitute for real medical advice. Please talk to your doctor for more information on Parkinson's disease and current treatment options. Parkinson's disease occurs when the neurons that produce dopamine get impaired and die. This causes a decrease in dopamine production which results in movement issues with Parkinson's. Currently, there is no cure for Parkinson's disease. However, medication, surgical treatments, and other forms of therapy can help with alleviating symptoms. Medication often prescribed for Parkinson's include drugs that increase the level of dopamine in the brain, drugs that help control non-motor symptoms, and anticholinergic drugs that help reduce tremors and muscle rigidity. However, treatment with medications may lead to confusion, hallucination, or disruption of higher order mental processes. The primary form of treatment for Parkinson's is levodopa, also called L-dopa. Nerve cells use levodopa to make dopamine to replenish the brain's limited supply. Usually, people take levodopa along with other medications called carbidopa. Carbidopa prevents or reduces some of the side effects of levodopa therapy, such as nausea, vomiting, low blood pressure, and restlessness, and it reduces the amount of levodopa needed to improve symptoms. But what causes cell death, which is responsible for the lack of dopamine, thus the negative cognitive and motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease? One theory leads us to the amino acid tryptophan, which is essential to human life, and the concentration of which is kept in balance by an enzyme called tryptophan 2,3 deoxygenase, or TDO, which helps break it down into other useful compounds such as NAD and NAD phosphate. However, problems can occur when a process called the kinurinine pathway goes into overdrive. This process is essentially what breaks tryptophan down into other chemicals. When in overdrive, some of the intermediate steps induce the production of toxic chemicals. So, when TDO is overactive, there is a drastic increase in these toxic intermediates, which kills the human cells responsible for the production of dopamine, coming full circle back to the lack of dopamine as the cause of Parkinson's. This brings us to the star of our video, the compound NTRC-3531-0, which was discovered by the NTRC Corporation from the Netherlands. This compound works by inhibiting TDO's breakdown of tryptophan, ideally bringing tryptophan levels back to normal and lessening the concentration of toxic intermediates to safer levels. This idea was tested by NTRC scientists initially in C. elegans as well as a Drosophilia model system. Upon successful trials, the NTRC scientists tested out the TDO inhibitor, NTRC-3531-0, in a mammalian model using mice. The results showed an increase in tryptophan levels, a decrease in the toxic intermediates, and also neurological and digestive improvements in the conditions of the mice. There is, however, still work to be done. The role of TDO as a potential cause of Parkinson's is not yet understood, and TDO inhibitors have yet to be tested in humans. Regardless, many scientists are optimistic that this discovery has the potential to lead future Parkinson's treatments in hopes of effectively slowing down or halting the disease. In addition to its relevance to Parkinson's, the TDO pathway is involved in aggregating or being a causative factor in a huge host of other conditions, including brain tumors, lung cancer, breast cancer, neurological conditions such as schizophrenia, and notably, spinocerebellar ataxia type 3. SCA3 is a neurological condition similar to Parkinson's as it involves a progressive deterioration of the sufferer's mobility, coordination, and balance. In fact, these diseases are so similar that SCA3 patients are often misdiagnosed as suffering from Parkinson's early stages. So it is no surprise that research has identified another TDO2 inhibitor derived from female ginseng as a potential treatment. Overall, the TDO inhibitor NTRC-3531-0 shows great promise as treatment for a number of conditions, but it is important to remember they have never been tested in humans, meaning their true efficacy and side effects are unknown. However, given the similarities of Parkinson's with Alzheimer's and Huntington's disease, Researchers expect that the TDO inhibitor could work with them as well. Current treatments for Parkinson's are largely ineffective due to mostly targeting the symptoms of the disease rather than its causes. 
For this reason, the new TDO inhibitor compound NTRC-3531-0 could represent a step towards actually stopping or reversing the progress of the disease itself and can be applicable in other conditions such as cancer. Though the results seem promising, this discovery is still very new, which is why no TDO inhibitors have been tested in humans as of now, so their exact efficacy is unknown. As such, these discoveries should only be seen as an excellent first step towards the development of future TDO inhibiting drugs that may finally give relief to those suffering from these diseases.